Hey guys, Matt here, or Serpent042. Uh, welcome back to Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, so far we just did, what, basic controls. We're going to skip ad attitudes and adjustments, and we're just going to go to take off and level flight, and we're just going to learn the flying from there. Can we change our airplane? No, we have to learn in that. Okay, fly. Remember to always check the approach for traffic before entering a runway. You can never be too careful. I'm going to forget to do that every single time. 55 knots, 75 knots. I have no idea what a knot is in terms of speed. I just know it's uh, <clears throat> how many knots could drug out under a certain amount of time. That was how uh, sailors used to determine the speed of their ships. And I can take this off because this isn't doing anything. I was from Warzone yesterday. Ready to fly, Sedona. There's an old saying I like. A mile of road will take you a mile. A mile of runway will take you anywhere. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. It's very clear to me. Disengage parking brake with Y and B. Oh, X to focus Everything on the runway. Looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. Okay, how do I taxi? The rudder pedals should make steering the plane pretty easy. Line aircraft with stop arrow using the brake Y. Am I doing this right? Okay. I don't feel like I'm doing this right. I should probably be on the center line here. Yeah. Let's go over that. Why? All right, let's do this. Apply full power, and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. All right, here we go. Full power. Triggers to steer on the ground. Use your rudders to stay on the center line, and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. How do I tell my speed? Oh, was I supposed to not Line be doing that already? Your instrument panel so it's a couple inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. And we're airborne. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots, and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. So this gives me the... They want to try to stay in that little circle there, I'm guessing. And if I let go of the stick, he goes, the plane goes careening down. Thirty-five hundred feet. How? Where does it show my height? Oh, we're getting close then. Closing in on fifty-one hundred feet. Rotate. 
And I just put her into a stall. Still stalling. I'm fighting with this. There we go. I lost a lot of air pipe that doing that. You know, I think it's easier to do it this way. Seriously, which one of these tells me my altitude? I can't tell. I'm a really... These are all questions you really want to hear your pilot asking. Good thing there's no passengers. There's 5,200 feet coming up. Oh, sorry, 5150. Um, how do I... I'm sure the flaps being deployed is a problem. Flaps, flaps, flaps. Um, the bumpers. Okay. There's our problem. Oh, that's climbing much easier. Why did it not tell me about the flaps? Um... If I find the flaps when I'm editing, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, we're climbing much better. Thirty-five hundred. So now we just maintain level and get ourselves up to seventy-five knots. Sixty-five. Seventy. Ah, fifty-five hundred feet. A nice, safe altitude for part two of our lesson. Straight and level flight. First step here is adjusting our attitude. We're in a cruise attitude, pushing max power. To stay level at our target altitude, let's start by easing the throttle back to eighteen hundred RPMs. So, how do I set eighteen hundred RPMs? Okay. I'm doing a good job of staying level here. Come on now, get down to 1800. Okay. Attain altitude of 5500 feet. So I need to go down a bit. Come on, it was 
there. Probably noticed to maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. You don't say. You could just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try Plus adding trim, wheel. trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. If you feel our pitch slipping and need to get back to the proper attitude, don't worry. Just pull on the yoke, then dial in the right trim. The way I was taught, when go. you adjust the trim, you make rough changes at first to remove pressure on the yoke. Then small adjustments to find the perfect setting to keep your desired attitude. That's the key to straight and level flight. It saves you from constantly pushing or pulling on the yoke. And that gives you more time to enjoy the ride. If you okay. want to practice using the trim, go for it. Whenever you're ready to pass the controls, I'll be here. So that has us plummeting. So what gets us level? Oh no, stall. Oh uh, no, the ground's getting way too big. That one seems to be working. Okay, control alt X. Okay, I have control. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. All right. I'm not going to remember any of that. Let's uh I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Hope you guys liked it. Um if you want to see more, let me know what you thought in the comments and remember to game on and don't hold back. Goodbye.